Yo, yo. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you're watching this. We are headed to Grinders in Huntington Beach to film with Foodio C. And while we're there, I think I'm gonna try and snag some tips from Buddy for all of you on food, photos, and editing. So let's go check it out. Are you excited to eat all the things? All the things. Are you gonna eat all the things? I'm gonna eat all the things. <laughs> got to grinders super excited to go inside and shoot some sick epic b-roll sequences that's actually one thing that I have recently found about myself I love shooting food shooting food is so much fun when you're shooting video there's a lot of opportunity for like repetition which makes for killer sequences and the best part about food shoots after it's all done you get to eat the food. So whenever I'm shooting these food B-roll sequences, I'm shooting at 120 frames per second, I'm gonna be shooting handheld, and I am going to be shooting with manual focus so that I have the most control over those shots and so that I can get that buttery, smooth, slow motion. So let's go see what's inside. And we're walking, and we're walking. Whoa! Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> All right, I am here with Buddy from Foodio C. He is half of the team of that fabulous food account. If you have not checked them out, seriously, go give their page a look uh -huh. and a follow. You, they make you so hungry. It's very exciting. So Buddy is going to share with us a few food photography and editing tips. Number one is definitely lighting. We like to find areas like this with shade. So it's that indirect sunlight so the colors don't look washed out or super warm. So that's the biggest tip I tell everyone when it comes to photography, make sure lighting is perfect. Number two is you try to tell the chefs to make it look pretty. It's a simple thing. A lot of times it's not a lot of effort for them. You say, can you make it look photo worthy for me? They'll take their time. Like if you get French fries, they'll put it together and make it look super clean and nice so people can see what you're actually eating. And then number three, I guess would be try to find something with color in it. So I know you want to go out and eat something you want to eat, but if you're going to be doing food photography, try to look at the menu and say, you know what? This will probably photograph well. I'm going to order this for today so I can kind of show off what they got in the kitchen. So those are my three top tips, I guess. Any editing tips for people? Yes, always edit. Um, if you have an Instagram page or anything, you wanna make sure you edit so all your pictures look the same. And then you wanna bring up the colors a little bit, bring down the highlights, shadow, like all those things. You wanna tweak them just a little bit, get your own feel. Um, I like to use Snapseed and Lightroom. Those are my two go-to apps. I use them every time I edit. The same exact edits every single time too. Fabulous, <laughs> thank you so much, buddy. Uh -huh. You're the best, now let's go eat some food and shoot some video. Go back from Grinders. She went great. Uh, super fun, super fast. One thing to note, I definitely did not shoot manual focus when I got back there in the kitchen. Much more fast paced than I was expecting. So pro tip, if you're going back into a kitchen shooting video, I'd use the autofocus feature on your DSLR camera if you have one. So using the autofocus feature was much more beneficial to me in this scenario because I was able to follow the action much better than um, let's say the other shoot that I did recently with Studio C where I was able to kind of set up and map out each shot and rehearse that different in camera actions and the actions that Buddy was doing when he was cutting the food. 
So that's much easier to set your manual focus, but when there's a kitchen and you're not really sure what the action is next, it's much easier to just throw your camera on autofocus. But overall, super great shoot with Foodio C. Always is, their stuff's the bomb. Make sure you go give their page a follow on Instagram, Foodio C. And if you are doing food photography, Buddy gave some really great tips that I'll list right here. That brings me to the end of this video. Thanks so much for watching. Give it a like, subscribe, comment, all the things, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks.